This is really important. We need to be careful when we're sharing documents and folders with other Gmail or Google users, which by the way, is an absolutely fantastic feature built into Gmail and Google Workspace. The ability for you to share files and folders with other Google users. It's absolutely fantastic. However, we have to be very careful. We do not want to share, we should not share anything with anybody else that we don't want them to have access to. Now, the question was, if I share a file, can they see the other files? And the answer is absolutely no. If you share a single file, I'm going to share this file right here. I'm going to share it with Teddy Burris or TL Burris at Burris Consulting, make him full editor, hit send. I just gave him access to that entire file. Now, let's go look at his profile and see what he has. There it is. There's the email I got saying BCI GWS shared this file with him. Shared a document, by the way. Not a folder, not the entire drive, just a single document. If I hit open, there's the file. Share with me. And by the way, note this. Because he shared the file with me and gave me editor access, look here under share. I can share this file with other people. I can't take it away from him, but... I can share this file with other people. Can I make myself the owner? No, I cannot make myself the owner. But I have access to that entire file and nothing more. There's no links in here that point me. There's nothing in here at all that points me to his other files because he only shared that one file. Now, let's close this down. Let's go back to Bur Burris Consulting at Gmail right here. I'm, I'm going to take away that file. I'm going to remove his access and hit save. Let me show you what happens when I do that. I'm going to go back to TL Burris at Burris Consulting. I'm going to go back to that email. There's that email he sent me. Oh, this is where he shared it with me earlier, remember? Click open. I need access because he took it away. So you can take it away just as quickly as you gave it to him. So that's not going to work. Let's go back to Burris Consulting at Gmail. Let me show you what you could do. And while this is another step, but you've got to be really careful. And that is sharing folders. I can share the folder, this Google Docs stuff, with TL Burris at Burris Consulting. And he'll have access to everything in this folder. Let me go back and show you. Right there, I'm going to share this folder right here. Hit the share button. I'm going to type in T.L. Burris at Burris Consulting. I'm going to give him full editor access. Hit send. Let's go see what he has now. Profile, Burris Consulting. Hit back. Burris Consulting folder shared with you. Shared a folder this time. Let's open the folder. Look, there's the name of the folder. Let's open it. I have access to the entire folder. And by the way, see the little icon there? These are all shared with me because he shared the entire folder. This is really important, but you need to be very deliberate. Do you want Teddy to see these other files? If you didn't, then what you should have done was one of two things. Either share the individual file instead of the entire folder, or remove that file that you don't want him to see and put it in another folder. Let me, let me go do that, show you what happens when I do that. Go back here. Here's the folder I shared with him. I'm going to take this folder, this file right here, I'm going to move it out. I'll watch this. I'm going to go to Drive. I'm going to go, I'm going to take this file. I'm going to drag it and drop it in temp. And it's going to change who has access. That's fine. Move it anyway. Now that file over in temp is class resources. Let's go back to go back to Google Docs and sit here. Let's go back and see what Teddy has access to now. There's that file. I just moved that file out. He shouldn't have access to that file. What happens if I click on it? Look what happened. Two things. First of all, 
I can't view that PDF, which I should be able to view that PDF. Why can't I view it? I'm not sure. So it's given me an option to download it. Look what happens when I try to download it. I got an error message. Could not download. Why? Because he moved it out of the folder. It's not accessible. Look what happens when I hit refresh. Look, it's gone. It's out of the list, basically because I hit refresh. So if you, let me go back to the folders. Burris Consulting, if you share an entire folder and you realize you don't want him to see that contract, just grab it, oop, grab it and drop it somewhere else. I'm going to take away his access. And now if I go back, let me show it to you one more time simply. I'm going to hit refresh. There it is, contract. It's gone. My point is this. The concern is this. If I share a file, can they get to the other files? The answer is absolutely no. If you share a folder, they can get to all of the files and all the other folders in that folder. However, if you have something in there you don't want them to have access to, you can just simply move it out of the folder and they will lose access to it. Don't worry about what people can get to. Instead, be very deliberate about sharing the right stuff with the right people. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.